back to our guided experiments. We are so excited to be celebrating Art Day. So on Art Day, we're definitely going to be making paint. And I know some of you are wondering where Bonnaby Jr. is, but you need to be checking throughout the video to make sure to find him. So with that, I want to introduce our guest today, Miss Clapp. She teaches art here at Casa Grande Union High School. So as you guys grow up, hopefully you have her as a teacher. She's pretty amazing. So Ms. Clapp, would you like to say anything about why you like art and why you picked that as a profession to teach? I just like that you can um, communicate so much with visual art. And I enjoy, my favorite part about art is paints and mixing and color theory. Perfect. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to list out the ingredients um, and make sure to pause this video to collect them before we go through the instructions. So you will need flour, salt, and then an array of food dyes. So as however many you want um, and however many paints you want to create, I would definitely recommend getting as many food colors as possible. So now we're going to talk about instructions. So I know that we mentioned in the science video why instructions were important in order to get to the conclusion that you wanted to see. So in our case, we really want to see different colored paints from the flour and the salt and the water that we're making. But it's so crazy to think about, but science is also an art as well. And art is just as much in science. So we're going to demonstrate that today as we go through the instructions. So please make sure to be following the directions. So first up, we're going to have to mix the salt and the hot water. So I have the hot water over here. You might want to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Um, and definitely ask your parents for help on this part because it can be very hard to handle hot water. So we're going to add a cup worth of water. Let me use this one. So we're using beakers, but you can use any plain cups. We're just going to add it to the biggest beaker we have over here. Okay, perfect. And now, Ms. Clapp, do you want to add the salt up to this thing? So she's going to add the salt to the water, and we're going to make sure to mix it. So if you want to, at this time, to feel how salt feels like. So it kind of feels a little sandy, and it's like a little bit harder. So we want to make sure when we mix it into the water, we dissolve it. So that way, when we pour the flour in, it's a smooth, smooth mixture. Because nobody wants to paint with something that's very gritty and just hard to handle. So please, please, please take your time at this step and make sure to add the salt with the water and stir around. So now we're gonna add the salt to the hot water. <laughs> it's so cloudy already. So Ms. Clapp, would you like to mix it all together? Sure. So as she mixes it, you're gonna see all of it dissolve. So right now you can very easily tell where the salt is and where the water is. But the cool thing about art and about science is that it's gonna to mix together to the point where the salt is gonna dissolve. So once she dissolves it purely, we're also gonna put it into there and then put the flour in. So naturally we're gonna add another cup of water because as you can see, it's not fully dissolved and we wanna make sure that we get rid of all the salt in there so it's a smooth consistency. As Miss Clapp is Stirring it all together, I'm gonna to measure out the one cup of flour. This is our one cup of flour, and we're just gonna add that to the mixture right now. <laughs> so as you can see, most of it stays on the top um, because flour is a lot lighter than all the water and the salt mixed together. Um, so, but once you mix it together, it'll definitely come out to the consistency. So be careful uh, because there's so much in that cup that you're using. So just be careful as you're stirring it around. So Miss Clapp, what would you advise to someone who wants to be a young artist and they're just developing in their skills? Uh, just a lot of practice um, and have something in front of you that you want to draw to um, help you learn how to Draw what you see what you're seeing <laughs> if you've ever played with slime um, it's kind of that same consistency and that's not really what we want to paint with we want to make it a little bit more runnier so we're gonna add another little bit of water so now we're gonna add them in these smaller cups that we have here and then we're gonna add food coloring so blue we have blue yellow purple green and pink and of course, pink is my favorite color, so I'm definitely gonna be painting with that. So now we're gonna start the process of adding in the food dye. 
So now we've separated all of the portions of our flour, water, and salt mixture. And so now we're gonna add the food dye. So this is the fun part, but first we're only gonna add four drops. And then we're gonna mix it around. And so you can get that vibrant blue. So this is more of to your liking. If you want it really, really dark, then you would definitely put a lot of food drops. But if you want it kind of this nice oceany blue, I would only say four drops is enough. So now we've added all the colors to our mixtures, and so we're ready to paint, which is definitely the fun part. So in your head, I want you to visualize what you want to paint. So it could be a robot, it could be a flower, it could be Bonnaby, whichever one you want to paint, please, please pick right now. Um, and then we're gonna paint together. And so as we paint, I'm gonna explain a few things, um, but let's paint together and see what we make. Art is everywhere you see. Um, it's in everything you look. So bridges, um, buildings, bicycles, they're all art. And that's what the really amazing thing is. But without science and engineering, art can only remain in certain parts. Um, so on paper, in paintings, um, but the engineering and the science part makes it possible for us to see it through buildings and through bridges. Um, and in the same way, science and engineering would be nothing without art. So they go hand in hand with each other. So Miss Clap, um, I have so many favorite cartoons um, and picture books that I love, especially Curious George. How much practice does it take to get to that level? Well, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of time just um, practicing drawing, of course, but um, to illustrate books, you're going to want to probably go to college or an art school to learn how to illustrate. So you need some sort of schooling to get that job. Yeah, and so that's why education is really important. So I know at school they have art classes um, and it's really important you pay attention during that time because if you're listening closely and you're participating, you will be able to retain that knowledge and so then you can use it into making your own um, children's book or your own cartoons. So just keep that in mind every time you're in class to pay attention and to use that uh, to your advantage. So now you can mix all these different colors together and see which one you get. And that's the fun part. You can experiment, you can try to do a different shade. Um, so keep mixing them and let's see what you come up with. Did you try blue and red? When you mix blue and red together, you get violet or purple. And if you try to mix red, yellow, and blue together, what do you think you're going to get? You should make brown when you mix the three primary colors together. So even though you might have a few few food dyes, um, it doesn't matter because you can make as many colors as you want as long as you have the basics. So ladies and gentlemen, um, we are now ready to show our artwork and I hope you guys are. If you still need more time, please continue it. Uh, but we're definitely going to show ours to you. So I'm going to show Miss Claps first. This is definitely why she's the art teacher. She made a beautiful cactus for Arizona and Casa Grande especially. And then I made an alien um, because of the perseverance landing on Mars. So hopefully we can find alien life and that'll be really interesting to see. Share out what your artwork was using the hashtag CG Steam Fair. If you need to ask help from your parents to do so, we would love to see all the artwork you made. Um, and make sure if you want to take a picture of yourself wearing red for art and post that using the same hashtag um, and make sure you're showing yourself participating in our project and that counts as another entry. So we are so excited you're here to watch this video um, and and so I want to thank Miss Clapp for being here today as our amazing guest host. Um, she definitely made this process a whole lot easier. So before we go, we just wanted to say to you, Get excited for art.